All right, team. Last video I signed off from, I said that was the last update. But any of you that have built a boat before know that there's always something else. So, spent the day back at Surdy's checking out the progress and Paddy's just knocked off for the day but he has been busy and the new heavy metal is looking unbelievable. So many features to check out and she's not even finished yet. These bifold drawers are an absolute game changer. The space they're giving us in the fishing cabin, well in the cabin and, in the, and then in the cockpit is massive. I mean this cabin is like nothing I've ever seen. The electric reels, die with tanacons for our teasers. Endeavour Engineering's made these beautiful little polished stainless guides for the teaser mono to go through. Same in the handrail and also pull through cleats you'll see for our halyard tensioners when we've got our kill wheel poles and our bonds cracking outriggers of course exploding fish 360 degree rotating rod holders and we've set up all of these rod holders so that obviously we can fish normally snapper fish harpooka fish anything else inshore fishing but also We've positioned them all so that we can set up our game fishing spread absolutely perfectly and that's something that um, I'll talk to you guys through once we get this boat on the water. We've got scan strut charging ports so that uh, we can have our GoPros, they're fast chargers. The helm station's unbelievable but this is something I'm really excited about. We've got the helm seat finished. Shockwave suspension. So there's our new helm seat. Beautiful one from my mates at High Tech Plastics in Hamilton. So, fold up bolster, sitting, driving. Can put this down. Now we've got a seat with the suspension for the comfy ride, going over the west coast trot. Nice little footrest there. And then when it comes time to marlin fish, I can pull that up, spin the seat around and sit square on with my feet up underneath you guys looking at the lures, talking talking to my crew, and I can easily reach my teaser reels from my helm seat. So that's exactly the design we're going for. Hatches, keep it nice and cool, and easy to turn, view my sonar information, chart information, control the zip wakes, VHF close at hand, Garmin Inreach is gonna be sitting here amazing everything that i've wanted in a boat the best part is i can even even reach down here and get myself out a cold export from this stunning inox stainless drawer fridge now king and queen facing seats so we can turn that passenger can sit it's beautiful heaps of space sitting forward and then once the action starts the lures are out or just general cruising can sit here at the table, talk to the person, or they can sit facing the other way. Got the big oversized cup holders that'll put our Yeti drink bottles and more importantly, our Yeti can colsters. So we've thought about just about everything. This seat here with our quick hitch, so it locks the rear and forward facing seats in place. Again, great spot here to sit and watch the lures, feet on the chili bin and Another seat there to sit and watch the lures. And of course, yes, we own tons of storage. Got a drawer under the floor here. And we've got soft close under seat drawers there. And this cool little tackle drawer. Great base for pliers, hook rigs, all the sort of fishing bits and bobs you need. So she's coming along team. We're at the point now where the dream is becoming a reality. A lot of work's gone into this boat, a lot of thought, and can't wait for you guys to have a chance to check it out. It's gonna be some hell adventures on here. Check out this fishing area up here. Into this cabin. 
not much light in here, but tons of space. There are lights in here, of course, but power's not on, but you can even sit and chill out in this area. It's unbelievable. Giant hatch from Cool Marine. Not very nice when you're shining straight into the light. You come out here, not that you do this while you're out on the boat, but you've got this whole fishing area on the bow, which is epic. Perfect for stick baiting. Gonna be teaming up with Mike from OTL Lures. We're gonna spend some hours up on this bow stick baiting. So much space. Pull the Garmin open array radar, FLIR camera, the hatches, oversized aerials so we can get tons of coverage out at sea. She's a weapon thing, she's a weapon. But the main thing that's happened since we last caught up as we take the alternative route around the outside of the boat is the boat has now been put on the stunning Balex trailer. Got some footage the other day or the other week of us fitting the boat to the trailer for the first time. And now the boat is on the trailer. We had some issues with the clearance of the back of the boat on the trailer it was on, but now check this, the new Balex Marine trailer. An absolute beast. Tri-axle, credo braking system. And here's 20 liters of fresh water to keep the axles, brakes, springs all freshly washed. Three axles, two braked. The trail parts uni hub system. So team, we're getting close. We're gonna come back to Sir T's tomorrow. We're gonna finish off the sea deck, couple more jobs to do. Then we'll wrap her up in plastic. We're gonna get it over to Caleb at Balex Marine. He's gonna customize our stone guards. Then we'll have the boat across to Raglan where we will meet up with our mate Jace at Brand Impact Signs in Raglan. He's gonna do the sign writing and then you guys can come check it out at the Hachwilko Boat Show. However, we'll tune in tomorrow and finish this bad boy off. Man, it's exciting. We just about pulled it off you guys. Just about pulled it off. Woo, we're back team. For the final time at Surtees Boats. We're taking it out of the workshop. Paddy's finished the fit out. And now we've got to get it over to Wurianga to have the stone guards fitted from our mates at Balex. And then from there we go straight to Raglan for the graphics from our mate Jace at Brand Impact. I'm not gonna show you too much just yet, but she's finished team. She's finished and it looks amazing. And you're gonna to get to check it out all for yourself at this year's Hutch Wilco New Zealand Boat Show. For those of you that aren't gonna make it to the boat show, fear not, we will be doing a full walkthrough video. But until then, this is all you're gonna get, guys. But let me say, it's come together better than we ever could imagine. But we better get it hooked, hooked up, get on the road. It's not quite the end of the journey yet, but we're getting close. I love it. Heavy Metal 4 is born. Woo!